you should subscribe to my channel. But how did I make this? Well, I'm glad you asked. In a previous video, linked below, I took apart a pallet, reclaimed the wood, and planed it down to get some nice stock for my CNC. Today we're going to create a nameplate using that reclaimed wood and my modified 3018 Pro CNC. For my CAM software, I'm using ESTL CAM. It does have a nominal cost, but given its functionality, I feel it's well worth it. We're going to create our canvas for our project in Fusion, and then we will export that to a DXF, which we'll then bring into ESTL CAM uh, to create the G code for our CNC. Based on our wood, I'll first draw a quarter of the stock in Fusion using a 7 mil offset. We're going to add a border, then some details in the corner, then offset it again to give it some depth. I'll mirror it out to create the full size of the stock, then export the sketch uh, to a DXF. Here we are in ESTL CAM, and we've already loaded in our DXF from Fusion 360. First thing we'll do is we'll check our setup and make sure we're using the right settings. So we have it on for Gerbil, and our 3018 is a Gerbil machine, so we are good there. Next, we're going to select our bit. So I've already programmed in our bit. We're using a 1.5 millimeter end mill. Our Z steps will be one millimeter at a time. Our speed, uh, 300 millimeters a second. Plunge is 50 millimeters a second. Uh, RPMs is 1200 or 12,000 RPM, which is the maximum RPM of my machine. And the other important one is our overstep. So we'll be using 50% on that, which means every pass the bit takes, it will carve half its width. So in this case, 0.75 millimeters. So here we are adding our text to the nameplate. Uh, I've already set the font height um, to a size that fits in nicely. I've also set the text to bold, which gives the letters a little bit more meat uh, to make it carve out a little nicer. We are doing a pocket style carve, so we'll carve out the letter in its entirety, and we're going to go to a three mil depth. Next, we'll carve out our border. Uh, first, using the part function, we'll set our inner limits, uh, and then we go to hole, set our outer limits for the carve, tell it's an island, and now it'll carve out that entire border. Now we'll check our preview, make sure everything looks good. We never did set a depth for our border, so it is asking for it now. Hit OK, because we do want three millimeters. Uh, looking at our tool paths, Everything looks pretty good. We'll tip it up. Now we can count the layers, one, two, three. So it's going to make three passes at one millimeter each for our three millimeter depth. Lastly, we need to export our G code. So we'll go file, save CNC program, select our uh, SD card, hit save. Again, just like the preview, we hadn't set depth for our border, so it's asking for the depth again. So we'll uh, three millimeters to match our letters. Hit OK. Shows you the preview of your G code. And we're done. We can now take our SD card down to our CNC and start carving out our letters. We need to load our wood and square it to the bed. Then tighten it down zero our bit and then start our job.
Here are the paints we're going to be using today. We're going to use three different types. The first is a black stain, which we'll use on the letters as well as the border. And then a red stain, which we will paint over top of everything. It's a lighter color and we'll let the black show through. And then finally a clear coat to seal it all in. Here it is, the finished product. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.